What's going on guys? Good Guy Sid here with another Good Guy First Looks. Today we are going to look at the Smoke RPM 40 kit. So on the back of the box here, it says the kit will include one RPM 40 device. It's a 1500 mAh internal battery, RPM standard pod that has a pre-installed RPM mesh 0.4 ohm coil. That pod will actually be a 4.3 mil capacity pod. Then in the box, it has a RPM Nord pod. So this will take the RPM mesh coil and the Nord coil, which is awesome. The, the pre-installed Nord coil will actually be a 0.6 ohm and that pod will actually, I guess because the coil is a little bit smaller, it'll actually have a capacity of 4.5 mils. Then there's a USB cable and a user manual. So we've actually been using this device for a couple days now just to kind of get a feel for it and really get comfortable, see how that coil breaks in. And we have to say, we like this device. We're pretty impressed with it. Let's take a closer look and get into the function of the device. So the first thing I notice here is I really like that carbon fiber kind of finish. What I like even more is that they didn't do what Smoke normally does. With the other device we tested, instead of having the same carbon fiber in a different color, they actually had a paint splatter uh, kind of style to it. So really appreciated that, you know, there is different variants for everybody. It's not just the same carbon fiber in different colors, which is nice. So if we go ahead and pull out this pod, it's pressure fit in there, which is pretty nice to see. It won't fall out in your pocket, so it's pretty secure. This pod is actually the RPM pod, and it comes with a pre-installed RPM triple mesh coil. Um, I'll show you guys basically how to fill and prime your coil. Put that pod right back in, you hear it clicks. Another thing I noticed was the USB is actually on the bottom of the device. Um, I'd like to see the USB maybe in future devices always be on the back so that when you do put your device down, you can just place it down and then plug in your device. Always make sure when you do plug in your device that you do take off the pod so that the heat from the device charging doesn't transfer to your pod, causing the pod to leak. So let's go ahead and turn the device on now. Five clicks. There it is. It says real pod mod. And there we go. So like I said, I actually had a couple days to test and mess around with this device. And I noticed a couple things. When you pull the pod out, it says pod detached. And when you connect it again, it says pod attached. So you know your pod is making a solid connection with the device. So we're gonna go ahead and go over some of the features with the device. If you hit the fire button and the down wattage at the same time, it'll actually reset your puff counter. If you hit the up wattage and the fire button at the same time, if you notice on the bottom of the screen, there's a couple different colors down here. So, if you hit them together, it'll change the color of your menu, which is always a nice thing. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that pod out now, and I'll show you how to prime the coil and fill the pod. Another thing to take note of is with their pods, they actually did something different. I should be able to bring this close up to you guys to take a look. And what you see here is a little arrow on that right there on that tab. There's a little arrow pointing over here. Originally, I pulled the tab from the other side and pulled the whole piece out. It was a little bit of a pain to get back in, but essentially that arrow is telling you what side you open this pod from. So, coil changing and filling and priming. Very easy. This is the coil down installed on the bottom. There are no threads, nothing like that. You just grab the coil from the sides and you pull the coil out just like that. Make sure the pod is empty, obviously, when you do that. Otherwise, you'll be creating a mess and you'll get e-juice all over your hands. So, if you do happen to do that, please make sure you wash your hands after getting nicotine all over your hands. You don't want to let it sit in there. So we'll put that pod down and we're gonna take this coil. Now the way I prime coils is I actually put a couple drops into the center and then I flip it upside down and I twist until the wicking holes on the coil will go from dry and white like the napkin to like a gray tint. And that's how I know the juice has made its way all the way through the cotton and the coil is saturated. And when you put the coil in, there's actually only one way the coil will go in. It's specifically shaped to fit into the pod one way. So if you go ahead and push that in, it's nice and sealed. And just remember, you're gonna pull your plug over on the side that the arrow is pointing to, and we're gonna go ahead and fill it. Once you pull that plug open, there it is, your filling hole. Now, when I fill my pods, I tend to leave a little bit of space, just enough space, just a little bit of an air bubble there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that after I close this, but uh, just a little bit of an air bubble right there, just so it doesn't vacuum back 
into the pod and kind of like prevent the juice from flowing into the coil and preventing uh, dry hits essentially. So I tend to leave a little bit of space. I don't fill my pods right to the top, some people do. Once you have the coil primed and you have your pod filled, I would actually take one or two pulls without installing the pod on your device just to kind of help saturate that coil and pull more juice into the coil. Um, then, since these coils are best used at 25 watts, again, this is the RPM triple coil, I would set it to about 10 watts and then take maybe two or three hits, bring it up to 15 watts, three to five more hits, and then you'll work your way slowly to about 20. I wouldn't go to 25, even though it's best used at 25, I tend to kick it back by five watts just to get the most out of my coil. And believe me, the performance at 15 watts will be comfortable enough. But let's try it out. So after it's been a couple minutes, you took a couple pulls without installing the pod on your device, you can go ahead and install the pod onto the device. Now, let's say I turned the pod and I went to install it the wrong way. Again, no way to actually do that. So this is actually kind of a nice feature too because you know the coil went in the right way, the pod went in the right way, and there's no way it shouldn't work. So we're just gonna let that sit for a couple seconds and I actually wanted to take a moment to mention there is another device that came out that looks very, very similar to this device made by Vupu called the Vinci. This is the RPM40, this was made, designed six months back and it's kind of interesting that both companies have a device that looks so closely alike. If you guys check it out, the Vinci is very, very close to this device, but this is the original design. And I actually like how this performs much better. Both coil options is a great thing. 4.3 and a 4.5 mil pod. Like I said, we've used it for a couple days, so I really, really enjoy this device. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. I have it set to 10 watts already. And like I said, your first two or three hits should be at about 10 watts. And if you get that almost cottony taste, you're gonna to wanna to take a couple pulls and let the coil really saturate before you actually use it at a higher wattage. So one more hit at 10 watts. Much better there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to 15. This thing really does perform and at 1500 ma, should get you through most of the day. But overall, I mean, that was the RPM 40. I appreciate you guys watching the good guy first looks. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that you know when the next video comes out.